Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here. Welcome back to the Let's Learn series. Today I am here with the Bash Bunny Mark II. And a really cool feature of the Bash Bunny Mark II is that it can detect Bluetooth devices, which is which allows us to do remote triggers. And I'll kind of show you guys how we're gonna do that. So let's jump into it. So we're on my home screen and you can go ahead and take your Bash Bunny, put it in arming mode and plug it in into your computer. Once it's plugged in, you'll see the Bash Bunny appear in your file explorer. So let's go ahead and open that up and just have it here in the background for now. Open up whatever text editor you use to create payloads. I'm gonna just be using Atom. So I went ahead and made the header for a payload. It's just gonna be a basically a hello world payload where we're gonna be able to test the abilities of the Bluetooth detection in order to do remote triggers. So let's go ahead and make our hello world payload. And if you guys don't know how to write in bunny script, or if you guys don't are very new to the Bash Bunny, I have a video linked right up here in the cards that will show you everything you need to know about the Bash Bunny. It's a full blown tutorial. It's only like 20 minutes and it'll give you everything you need to know in order to set you off and prepare you to make some really great payloads. So definitely check that out. Anyways, let's jump into this. So in this first section, we just configured the Bash Bunny so that way it is in the proper attack mode. Here we were easily just able to open Notepad through the run box. And finally, we were able just to write out hello world after a short delay. So now let's actually save this to our Bash Bunny. And I'm gonna put it in switch to, and we'll call it payload.txt. There you go. So there's nothing special about this payload. It is just a standard payload that will um, open Notepad. So we can test it out by ejecting our Bash Bunny. Take out your Bash Bunny, put it in the switch position you saved it to. I saved it to switch position two, so I'll put, put it in that. Plug it back in. And there you go, super easy, hello world payload, just like that. It opened Notepad and it wrote hello world. So hypothetically speaking, you're not gonna be using payloads like a hello world payload. You're gonna have payloads to install backdoors or to exfiltrate, steal web credentials, Wi-Fi passwords, whatever, whatever, whatever. So what you guys need to do, understand is if you're in an engagement and you plug this in and then someone turns around or someone's looking, as soon as you plugged in the Bash Bunny, it ran the payload. So what we can do is have the Bash Bunny wait until it detects a certain Bluetooth device. Once it detects that device, then it will run the payload. So if you have like Bluetooth earphones, if you turn your Bluetooth earphones on, your Bash Bunny is gonna be like, oh, the Bluetooth earphones are on, I can run the payload now. So you can kind of have it as like a detonator or a trigger, right? Or the remote trigger as it's called. Um, so let's incorporate that into our payload. So right where we configured the Bash Bunny, right before we open Notepad, we can actually have our Bash Bunny wait for present. So here, all you would have to do is put the name of the device you would want to have be detected in order for the payload to run. So I'm gonna go on my phone. We're gonna go onto the Bluetooth. I'm gonna turn my Bluetooth on. And you can see we have a few devices here that I can kind of choose from. Now, my phone is now discoverable as iPhone, which means if I turn my phone's Bluetooth on, it will be discoverable as a Bluetooth device labeled iPhone. So we'll, we will use that iPhone label that it shows here. So we can save this. We can go ahead and go ahead and eject the Bash Bunny. Take it out of the computer, put it in whatever switch position you save the payload to, minus switch position two. So we'll put in switch position two and plug it right back in. So what you'll notice is you heard the noise but nothing's happening, right? Now, um, if you guys set up your payload the way I did, you would see a magenta light on the Bash Bunny. That means it's setting up. So it's waiting for the phone Bluetooth to be detected. So if I turn my Bluetooth on, 
so now is now discoverable as iPhone. If we wait a little bit, it will run the payload that we put on the Flash Bunny. One hour later. All right, it's clearly taking its time. <laughs> a few inches later. Oh, okay, so it does work. Okay, cool. Uh, that took a little bit of time, but it did end up working. So that's cool. There you go. So you can do, have remote triggers. Um, I don't know why it took that long. I don't know if that was like an issue on my end. If you guys are having similar issues, let me know. Uh, but yeah, that works. So basically the concept is still there, right? Um, you can have a, blue, a Bluetooth or a remote trigger to trigger a payload. So that in case if someone's still looking or if you need more time before the payload actually can be run after it's been plugged in, you can do that by using remote triggers. Cool. So our payload was able to wait until it was able to detect that the iPhone was present. So another command that we can do in our uh, code is wait for not present. And the wait for not present basically just waits until the iPhone is no longer detected. So if you turn the Bluetooth off or if you leave, which means like if you had this enabled, you could ha have the bash bunny be plugged into your target leave and once the bluetooth is no longer detected by the bash bunny it will run the payload so you're like off the scene before the hack even starts which is pretty cool so you can and kind of incorporate these kind of concepts and ideas into your payloads i'm not going to run this simply because i'm not going to wait another 10 minutes because there might be something wrong with my bash bunny or it might be a hardware i may have done something wrong but if you guys are experiencing anything similar let me know in the comments I will see how I can help. But regardless, that's gonna be it for this video. A pretty cool idea, by the way, is that if you saw my web credential stealer for the Bash Bunny, you could easily apply a concept like this to that payload, right? You can have it wait um, until it detects your phone or your headphones or any other Bluetooth device you have before it runs the payload to make sure that people aren't looking before a bunch of windows start popping up in a bunch of credentials are being stolen. So regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, do the whole YouTube algorithm thing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So stay happy, stay positive, and as always, happy hacking.